When it comes to the future of air travel, forget supersonic, the new way to fly is hypersonic. EADS has unveiled the vision of a cleaner, faster future flight. It's called CEST, a short for zero emission hypersonic transport. Now the jet is designed to fly above the Earth's atmosphere. To get off the ground, it uses engines powered by biofuel made from seaweed. It then switches to rocket boosters driven by hydrogen and oxygen. The plane will also be equipped with ramjet engines usually reserved for missiles. All of this means that a flight from Paris to Tokyo could take just two and a half hours. But don't get too excited just yet. The first commercial flights aren't expected for another 40 years. Now let's get more on this with Jean Botti, the chief technical officer at EADS. He joins us from the Paris Air Show. Welcome, Mr. Botti, on the show. I first of all just wanted to get a sense of how much of it is it real that we will actually have this jet in the future 30, 40 years down the line. Good morning. Well, uh, this uh, jet today has no new technologies, breakthrough technologies per se. Everything we have built here is constructed with the technologies that are existing, in particular all, all the propulsion system. Also the aerodynamics are well known and the materials that we apply are materials that you know, are experienced with Ariane and also with jet fighters have shown us you know, how to uh, treat a very high speed. But does it mean that all the technical problems that you're still working on will actually be solved? Absolutely, I'm convinced about this because what we need really to resolve here are the transition, you know, going from a normal airplane when it takes off to kind of a rocket when uh, it goes fast out of the atmosphere. Yeah. But uh, those um, transitions, you know, are the most, uh, I would say, difficult to handle. But this is why we're going to take our time to make sure that we absolutely make sure that the comfort and security of the passengers will be um, I would say uh, kept. Yeah, and it's such a it's such an exciting exciting project. It's so we've never really seen anything like it to gain so much time since the Concorde. I'm just wondering how much is it going to cost, and what is the likelihood that you will, at the end of the day, be able to sell these and therefore make the project viable? Okay, first of all, uh, I, there is no comparison with Concorde because this is really a zero emission, you know, airplane and it's done for minimizing noise and also uh, emissions. But the cost but right it's, now, it's, it's a bit too early. This, <laughs> we, you know, we're... It's very fast. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but, but the fact, <laughs> yes, it's very fast. Uh, but you know, the cost has not been fully evaluated yet. What we know is we're trying to optimize every technology brick to make sure you know that commercially, this, uh, the cost of a ticket uh, in, in that kind of airplane will be between what was a Concorde or also a cost of a private jet today because what we're shooting right now is really you know, the business kind of transportation. Yes, but in terms of when are we going to see the first plane? I mean, if I talk to you, what, in a couple of years, will you have a better sense of whether it's commercially viable or are we going to see the first actually, um, you know, planes out for you to test them in 10 years from now? Well, uh, I would say the following. You will probably see uh, in 10 years from now planes like this flying but unmanned. That will be the first step. Uh, again, we want to make sure that all the security safety aspects are taken care of. So, you know, it will be much like what you see today at the show, uh, a small scale plane as a drone, so that we validate all the things that we have inserted in, in, into this airplane. And after, I would say, you know, uh, have somebody in there in 10 years later, uh, that's where you will start to see something that, you know, uh, we, we'll be in that range, yeah, 2025, 2030. All right. And as you know, after it takes time to put hundreds of passengers in there. Yeah, it certainly does. But it's a very exciting project. Mr. Jean Bouti, thank you so much. You can count me in on that flight, actually, if you're ever looking for anyone <laughs> to test them out. Have a great day, Mr. Okay. Jean Bouti. There. You can book your ticket. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you. Of the ADS. Thank you so much.